My dear friends, think about this. Humility, obedience and holiness are intimately connected to each other. Mother Mary, the mother of Jesus, who became the Christ, the Messiah of the world, had all the three qualities, humility, obedience and holiness. Mother Mary, my friends, was exalted because she humbled herself and that is what the scriptures promise each one of us. Those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. To bear a child outside wedlock was the most disturbing thing that could ever happen to a woman in Palestine as much as it is even in our society today. Yet, my friends, Mary chose to say a bold yes to God when she was told that she would bear a child outside wedlock by the power of the Holy Spirit, something that she knew she would not be able to explain to people around her. Mary's yes, my friends, to God's will in such a difficult and even life-threatening circumstance, life-threatening because the law demanded that a woman be stoned to death if she bore a child outside wedlock. So think about what went on in the mind of Mother Mary at those moments. But her yes to God's will, even in such difficult and life-threatening circumstances, speaks of her great courage, her conviction and her unshakable faith in the Lord. My friends, Mother Mary's yes, remember, was not a cowardly yes or out of fear, but out of deep conviction that God who begins the good work through her will bring it to completion. Mother Mary's reply, Behold the servant of the Lord, let it be done to me according to thy word. The Gospel of Luke chapter 1 verse 38, my friends, is the most profound manifestation of Mother Mary's humility, holiness and unconditional obedience before God. The child that Mother Mary was going to give birth to would be called the Christ, the Messiah, the Savior of the world. Her son would be called Savior and it was a privilege that Mary could have puffed up with pride, but Mary chose to remain humble and allow God to work through her according to His will. Think about our own life, my friends. Along life's journey, we may rise to high positions of power and responsibility. We may receive accolades and praises from people, rewards and awards along life's journey. People may put us on the pinnacle. We may rise in success and even rise in material prosperity but in all these situations my friends God invites us to look to Mother Mary as a beautiful model and example to stay humble humility my friends is not denying the power you and I have humility is to realize that the power comes through you not from you yes humility is not denying the power you have Humility is to realize that the power comes through you from God and not from you. Mary realized that, which is why she sang, giving all the credit to the Heavenly Father, singing, My soul glorifies the Lord, for He has looked on me, His lowly servant. It was this attitude of humility, my friends, that is acknowledging the power of God in her life that singled Mother Mary out from all other women as someone so very special. Mary, my friends, is venerated and honored by Catholics across the world. And please be reminded that she is not to be worshipped because the church teaching clearly says that worship is due only to the Trinity, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Mary is honored and venerated not so much because God did great things through her, but more because she humbled herself in every circumstance. Her greatness was her humility. The more humble you and I are, the greater you and I will be in the sight of God. Praising God, my friends, is very, very easy. Yes, praising God is an easy thing. But when God praises you for your humility, it is the greatest blessing you can ever receive. So stay humble. Be blessed always. Have a good and godly day.